So what I have here, I have five metals that I'm going to be testing. I'm going to be testing aluminum, magnesium, iron, copper, and zinc. Okay. And I have already placed a small amount of metal in the last four columns. I thought I would show you what I did here with the aluminum. Okay. So I have just a bottle of aluminum here and I'm just going to take a small scoop of aluminum and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my test tube. That's all I did. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hydrochloric acid that I have here, which is right here, hydrochloric acid, okay? And I'm going to add it to my metals. I'm going to take a small amount of the hydrochloric acid and add that to the aluminum here. Oh, sorry for bumping the camera. Okay. But we can see if we can get a better picture here. If I do a little shaking here, see if there's any, if I bring the camera. Oh, sorry here. See if we can't see any little bubbles being formed. Looks like maybe right on the very top surface of the aluminum, there might be a couple little bubbles that are going to be forming. But overall, pretty, pretty unreactive. Nothing very much, but a couple bubbles right on the surface maybe are being formed. Okay, so that was the aluminum. We're going to move on to the magnesium and here we go very reactive and if i add another little drop you can see it again but definitely very reactive for the magnesium. Okay, we'll move over to the iron, which is next, and give this one a try. Give this one a little shake. Doesn't look like anything, so we'll bring us up here to the camera. Nothing really going on with this one either. feel it if it's got any temperature change. It does have a slight temperature change. I know you can't feel it, but there is a slight temperature change. There is a, it is a little warm on the bottom, so that would indicate a little bit of a reaction going on. Okay, so that's the iron. Now on to the copper. Give this one a shake. We'll bring this one up here to the camera. 
and this one is doing absolutely nothing. This one, well, I would say, is your least reactive one. Not a thing. Copper, nothing. So the aluminum, we saw a couple bubbles on the surface, which wasn't much. The iron, which wasn't much, but had a little bit of a temperature change. This one has no temperature change and no bubbles. This one is nothing, okay? And then lastly is our zinc. Okay. And Oh, this one's got bubbles forming. Lots of bubbles, lots of reacting. Not as much as the magnesium. And I'll bring it closer here so you can see. But definitely reacting. Lots of bubbles. Not as much as the magnesium, but definitely quite a distinct reaction for the zinc. Okay, I'm gonna just show you um, aluminum here again, because aluminum is, it took a little bit, but you can see it's bubbling here and there. And you can see some of the fizzing that's going on. So aluminum just took a little bit, but it's fizzing right there. Is this one producing any bubbles? This one is producing some bubbles. You can see that there's some bubbles being formed here with the iron. This is the iron that I'm holding up here for you to see again. So there are some bubbles with the iron. And then the copper, nothing, nada. Okay, so there you should be able to create your list. So good luck to you. If you have any questions on anything, please do not hesitate to ask. And there we go, happy reaction writing.